it up with another birdie. This is her tee shot at the par 3 six, the little club twirl. She would roll that in for birdie, her third in her first six holes. She's at the eighth. Grant Boone, Judy Rankin, Jerry Foltz with the final group. Gorgeous swing yet again, hitting it so well. Nine iron from 137. Yeah, Got another chance. Right on. Quarter looking to pick up another. He's got a great read from Patty Tabak just a moment ago. And that's two in a row from similar distance, left short. One shot lead when the round began. Lead is now three. Check in with Brooke Henderson, who's not played well today so far. Three bogeys. And that one is going to drop. So first birdie of the day for Brooke, but out in 38. Check in with Sarah Kemp, who's going along well today. The veteran player from Sydney, Australia. 35 years of age, 14th year on tour. She said it's the closest she had to red for Tiger, as many players have done today. Oh, another good effort. Speed's just not quite right on those today, but three under through nine with the lead, that's pretty tough to beat. And 16 under may well be good enough to get it done. Oof. And she too missed the green left, short and left. And that's a tough bogey. Nine pars. Regulation per day than both of her fellow competitors. Such a consistently pure ball striker. Right where Jason told her to hit it. Saw him hit a lot of amazing shots and do some great things covering him all those years, Judy. I kind of saw him grow up. And uh, uh, he, he kind of taught me to how to grow up in the business. Here's Tana Tannic into the tent. Exactly 116 as well with the wedge. This flirting with the right edge of the green. The top. This is Tana Tannic. This would be for two in a row to get her back to only within six. She can't afford any missed opportunities to make a run at it. That was a good effort, too. Boy, it took a right-hand turn. Mm. 65 on Thursday. Able to roll over from the CME straight into these two events here. It's only a month off. Good putt for Lydia. Tom mentioned the Gitana Gardens, who called this their home club, opted not to come back. Lydia wasn't going to come back until she found out that on NBC. Alexi. Beats that one to drop. But she lives here in the winter. She's had not a great day today. Three over par. And that's a good one. Maybe a birdie at the par three seventeen. Made a seven at fifteen. The par five had four sevens and an eight so far. And Van Dam for a birdie at the seventeen. Gets her back to two over for the day. Two under four. Very big one. it down there in the pot. That would have felt like a bonus if it had gone in. Her ball, Jerry, I mean, it, it was close to hopping into that rough or the bunker off the tee. And what a big difference that would have made. Walks away with the pot. No gimmies when I tee it up tomorrow, and I've been playing with a lot of gimmies. Indicated <laughs> hole count. Putting service on the right part of the green. At the 18th, Sarah Kemp. A nice week. This to close it out with a 69. Okay, little body English. Curls it in. Stacy Lewis. Late in the day on Sunday. 
Marissa Steen, not in next week at the moment. She will be if she makes this, because that moves her into the top ten. This is pretty much right at it. Oh, pretty much what she needed to do. She... You know, I never listen. They will be very excited, I'm sure, to see the way that Nelly has played. She could do this round, could have been about six, seven shots better. Yeah. It's good no enough as it is, but so many punches. Sister, sister. After Jessica Corda wins the season opening Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions, Nelly Corda follows her into the winner's circle at the Gamebridge LPGA.